Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Currently, we're looking at air, condi air conditioning. <laughs> Actually, we're looking at uh, the condition of the air, and <laughs> it's 60 degrees out there. So it's a uh, 55 degree dew point value east wind coming in at about 5. It's going to be a nice, gentle wind out of the east or north, northeast today. Uh, we have a dew point value that's very comfortable at 55, but it's going to get, I think, even a little bit lower before it starts to rise up a little bit as we head into the weekend. We have some places that are actually in the 40s. Becky and Old Mayaka phoned in and said that her air temperature is 47 degrees. <laughs> That's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Uh, they're generally a little bit cooler in Old Mayaka because of drainage and soil types and all that kind of thing. But generally speaking, we're looking at temperatures that are a lot cooler this morning than they were 24 hours ago with 50s, very popular on the boards. 57 degrees in Wachula, Arcadia, Mayaka, 56 degrees in Parrish, 57 Bradenton, 58 Lakewood Ranch in Northport, and 55 degrees in Punta Gorda. Closer to the coastline, you've got temperatures that are closer to the 60 degree mark. So the drier air filtered in on the back side of a cold front that moved through. That drier air kind of moving a little bit further to the east today as we see a little bit higher moisture content air indicated here by the turquoise colors advancing in this direction. That'll bring us a little bit more high cloudiness as we head into the weekend. It's also associated with a frontal boundary located to the north sinking south and an old kind of trough of low pressure located back to the, uh, to the west of us. Combination of those factors, I think, will bring us that slight increase in cloud cover over the weekend. Clouds kind of coming in two different directions. The front itself is going to stall out over North Florida. And because the air is moisture devoid, it's not going to produce any rain showers over land. You know, we'll get a few scattered showers out in the Atlantic, and maybe Jacksonville might pick up a, a drop or two of rainfall. But we're going to stay high and dry around here. Now, maybe as we head into next work week, we might see a little extra bit of energy start to force this stalled frontal boundary back into motion, push it through our area and bring us a little bit more rain possibly. But that won't occur until next work week. The weekend looks great with dry, sunny skies today, low relative humidity and mild afternoons and cool, crisp nights perfect for sleeping. It doesn't get any better. This is going to be one of the best days that we've had all year long. Really will. Titan radar not showing a drop of rain around anywhere across the state of Florida. Locally, the roads are dry and will be throughout the morning commute. Nice winds coming in out of the uh, north today. Not all that gusty, really. Good day for boating. I know you've had some very gusty winds over the last few or four, three or four days, so it'll be nice to get a little break from that. Rainfall future cast showing things stay dry, but we pick up that little bit of extra cloud cover as we head into Saturday and Sunday, and a few rain showers try to work their way into North Florida, but we stay dry on Sunday as well. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, maybe we pick up a little bit of uh, moisture then. As far as uh, our rain shower chances go for today, they're non-existent, so a great day for boating. East, northeast wind at about 10 knots will bring you two-foot seas and a light chop. And the official Suncoast forecast has some pretty nice conditions. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we start to cloud up a little bit more. Monday, Super Moon Monday. You know, the, uh, the moon will be about 30% uh, brighter in the sky, and you won't see another super moon for quite some time that'll be as bright as this one. It'll rise in the east, it'll set in the west, and it'll be high in the sky, so you can't miss it. And I think the, uh, I think the cloud cover will cooperate on Monday. Tuesday, the cloud cover might be a little bit thicker, though. We'll have the complete uh, details on that coming up uh, later in the broadcast. Back to you.